Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a new week and another short video. Today, I want to share with you about a good kind of fear. And the fear of the Lord sounds like maybe somebody's throwing a little bit of shade on God's character. Like, that's not a good thing, the fear of the Lord, or he's a God-fearing man, or things like that. The fear, of the, the fear of the Lord is probably not a real popular topic um, these days. But I want to read from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. The fear of the Lord tends to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied, and he shall not be visited with evil. The fear of the Lord tends to life. You know, you, when you want to really have the right kind of life, a good life, then you have the fear of the Lord in your heart. And it and it also leads to a really satisfying life. So these are wonderful things about the fear of the Lord. Um, it's also connected a lot of times in the scriptures to wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's just the beginning. And there's a whole lot more as you grow in having the fear of God in your heart. It's not simply that you're afraid of God, um, or that you're afraid of condemnation or rejection by him or punishment from him or, or hell. It's, it's not just that you're afraid of those things. Um, the fear of God is really about a reverential respect and a love for, for God. You know, the Bible says that we love him because he first loved us. We found out that he loves us despite that we were born sinners. He, he loved us enough to die for us. So it's really about a, a, a reverential respect and love. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I mean, before we ever gave a thought to him, he had this amazing salvation already purchased for us. It's just an amazing love. I want to give you an illustration one time that I heard that just really got stamped on my soul. It was about a father and a daughter. Uh, she was raised to, to know the Lord. He was a Christian man. He, he, he loved his daughter. They were very close. She was kind of a daddy's girl. And the day came when she was, you know, now of age, 18 or so, and going away to college. And, and um, some of you that are parents will understand this. They had to make that journey. They got in the car and they rode up the highway and brought her to the campus and to the dorm and helped her move it in. And, um, you know, this was a, a time that had to come. It's a good phase, a new phase, but it was also very sad in a way because no longer was she going to be living with them and be under their roof. And um, after all of those years of growing up. So any parents that have ever done this have probably knows what it's like to shed a tear as they say their goodbyes and get in the car and head out of the campus and back out to the highway with tears in their eyes. And um, it's just the way it is. So this girl was in the dorm and as so often happens in college dormitories, the, the parties were happening, you know, the booze was flowing, um, the marijuana was going and the guys were coming over, you know, to stay over and, and all kind of stuff was going on in the dormitory. And and this girl would not join in. And her roommate, you know, kind of was a little bothered by that after a while and and began to taunt her and tease her. Like, you know, why don't you go to the party? I mean, you know, it's just some guys coming over. It's just, what's wrong with smoking a joint? You know, getting high a little bit, having a good time. I mean, are, are you afraid your daddy's going to hurt you? Is that what it is? And the girl just kind of, you know, was very sweet, very humble, and just kind of said, no, I, I, I'm not afraid that my daddy's going to hurt me. Um, she said, uh, I'm afraid I might hurt my daddy. And she just said, thank you, but, you know, no thanks. And uh, I've never forgotten that, you see. And to me, that that is a good example of what it's like to have the fear of God in your life. If you, if you really love somebody, you want to please them. And God loved us so much that he forgave all of our sin and accepted us into his forever family when we put our faith in Jesus. 
And because of that love and the Spirit of God shedding that love abroad in your heart, man, you don't want to go back to the old ways. Um, you know, uh, I just want to share a little song with you. I don't know, again, the composer of this song. Uh, but again, it's just got a little simple message that I've never forgotten. And so I'd like to share it with you. And whoever wrote this song, I believe, has the fear of God in their heart, that love of God in their heart. Whatever you want, whatever you will, whatever I need, I know you fulfill, whatever it takes for me to be true, Father, I pledge my life, me to you. You've always been there, every step of the way. Since the day that you changed me, I've not been the same. And whatever it takes, for me to be true Father I pledge my life me to you whatever you want whatever you will whatever I need I know you for and whatever it takes for me to be true Father I pledge my life Father I pledge my life me to you simple little chorus that I think really has got a great message. Uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 3, we find these words. Every man or woman that has this hope, and it's a sure hope, it's based on Christ. Every man that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. It changes you, man, when the love of God comes into your heart. You don't want to go back to the old life. You don't want to keep those same old habits and ways that were part of the old life. If any man is in Christ, he's now a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And you're not really afraid that God is going to zap you if you get out of line. That's not the biggest fear. The fear of a true child of God is that you would hurt your father the one who loves you, the one who laid down his life for you at that cross. That's the real fear of God. You just love him. He's been so good to you that you just want to please him, whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're planning. And you want him to be your king, your God. You just want that. It's because you got the fear of God. That's a good thing. So God bless you. And may the Lord bless you and your children with the fear of the Lord. That's a good thing. That's a good fear. Hallelujah. Have a great day.